Hi guys, and welcome to the Rainbow Six Replays YouTube channel. Today we want to present a video replay of the match highlights between Interforce 36 and Team Exist during the Japan League 2024 Stage 2. Don't forget to subscribe and put a like. Enjoy. So, okay, he's actually in the balcony. So I guess he got both admin and then rotated over. So I assume the breach has been opened up. The jump out here, punished by Salty. Okay. Bit of a risk kill, but again, that's castle jumping out. Already put down those castle barricades. He is a free gun like we saw on tank as well. Not the worst armor to do that job with and exist. Got the castle barricades. They have the drone on side. If they wanted to, they could actually go in the next 10 or so seconds. Yeah, this is a really late execute. There is a defender still here on the visa stairs. That is going to be the perfect position to counter Sifty, and indeed, Sylvia will take him on down. The execute comes into sight, but Sylvia has not allowed anyone to get I'm past the Visa stairs for a second. Marvi did see the player connector, but Yamada has not been exposed as of yet and can just wait patiently. 20 seconds remain. The defense are an advantage, but Marvi flips the switch. Vanish goes down. Still, we have this Roma, though, on the Visa stairs. Sylvia hasn't been dealt with. He's got the diffuser. He's found a third pick. The fire will burn, leaving just Lily for exist in a one versus three, and he's got absolutely no clue where these players are or what to do. A consolation fragment. Have grenades on the lineup. So they might have actually been in a really bad position if that wasn't going to pan out, but it did, thankfully. And they get the pick as well. A bit of an early flank from Sylvia. Yes, his flank won the round last round, but uh, this time it's given an early advantage to exist. Oh, missed. oh, I don't know how that happened, but yeah, the Tubera was unfortunately not ready enough to deny that breach. Would have been nice for E36 to delay a little bit more time. Here comes the Logic Bomb. I think Exist are on the verge of executing. Should be. Got two toxic babes. Got one two of our canister. Oh, see if he's gonna go for it. Yeah, and he starts forcing that plant down inside the smoke. There's no warden on the defensive side. There are no C4s he's left. Down. Is there information? Big swing from Take, but he goes down. Good trade though. And Exist are yet to plant this diffuser. The thermite was taken down while planting, and the smokes have prevented him from going back in again. So even though the attack have the advantage, they can't force this down as of yet. The Salty will have to start forcing this plan. He's right at the end of the what? clock. The shotguns come out. Marvi oh. has to cover. Big from Marvi. Exist just barely. Keep that round in their side. Orban past the castle, deep into the bomb side, and died to smoke and cafeteria instead. This right here from Lily. Gets the first pick. This is excellent. But then he rushes on in to aggress into a one versus one gunfight. Oh to build a bit of confidence on defense, settle into the match. As I say that, Akusa downstairs struggles, and also with that, it's taken down by Mark. He's got to walk into this crossfire, and now he knows it's not possible to get into that position. But meanwhile, a Sorol is coming from below, in fact, and that's right near the bomb site. While all this executes happening to try and control the top floor, Exist have said, hang on a second, there's not enough players on site to prevent us from just sending it in, and the plant will go down from Sifty. And now it's up to Salty on the Blitz to simply defend against this position. The plant's gone down. All of the attackers on the top floor that were meant to be denying it were distracted by the Blitz. And so Exist have well and truly taken control of this round. It looks quite elementary, quite straight up and down. Now they have to deal with the Blitz. Now they have to retake. Oh. But up comes Sifty after Planet of the Diffuser. He's hungry for some kills as well. And with that, the round is over. Exist, one of the best rounds yet. Side. We can tell Diffuser and Case, of course, still on the CEO side of things. That should still be that same push from the get go. Marvi is the X Factor here, though. Okay. Okay. Headed around to these stairs for a big backstab. Oof. Okay, taken very low thanks to the fire. He wants to be in position to support. There is a player at the vending machine that should be able to prevent. Marvi's flank, and indeed, that's exactly what happens. So, well read there by Enterforce. It exists running out of options. They've got the numbers disadvantaged. They've just got to get desperate and start forcing their way inside. That repel will have been heard, but Lily does a good job of covering. Here comes the gridlock track. Sting is another player swings and falls. Another player swings and falls. Everyone is being minced up. Acerola goes for the swing on the last player and exists. Devastate Enterforce on the execute. Coverage. I mean, I would love to see that again. What a 
round. Like, what a crazy way for it to go. I mean, we were at a 3v4, and here Lily is just holding down the line. Even Ace Roller getting up and swinging again. I mean, just amazing. Ace Roller comes up from the backstab at the line the five rounds we play that Akasu has been the first player to die and well this is so close oh Hake does go down on the attempted retreat Yamada good huge potential he's got support from nice. Sylvia this is two out of the three players on the defense they need to make good on this here comes the first the second pick as well for Yamada massive round vanish immediately catches a player as well so it's a two versus two the Monty's still up but the Monty is the last remaining now needs to go for these picks one at a time or needs to force this plant down does have the diffuser he'll try and bait this out hope that someone picks him and he needs to take the 1v1s but he's been read down to a T oh. so well played by the defense vanish survives and falls back on the vert as well e36 win the round on and plant the smoke grenades and then all you gotta do is have one guy cover piano dots aside. Yep, that's the swing right there we saw early on. And the second person just watching the verticality. Instead, you had Bark and Mavi both watching the same thing, basically, from a very poor position without the flank being covered. And that's where it all falls apart. When you put opening depths early, maybe this time they can stay alive. Oh, oh here we go. Kill even. Yeah, big opening for Vanish. It's the first time this game that Enterforce has found the opening pick. Can they convert it? Desperately needed here. Sarola is able to trade. Not a good player to lose. Vanish being one of those key players in the ground floor. Now Marvi's going to go and get that Diffuser. Okay. So good trade here. Salty does take down to play this narrow hallway position. Really, it has to come down to some kind of X Factor from Exist on the attack. Perhaps just taking down the Pulse outright in close range. That could be everything. Another pick as well as Marvi has come down from a backstab. Doesn't secure the kill as of yet. And so he starts to force this diffuser on down. It's up to Yamada. Big C4. Does it land? It's nowhere near. Sylvia and him must now retake in the two versus three. But Acerola is still low HP. Big pick for Yamada. Sylvia's got to join the fray as he is the last one left. And he goes down to Lily. Big 2k to close the round for Exist. And the half with it. Which was just aggression on defense when they were down in numbers. But this right here are lost. Basically Vanish, he gets called by Dokebi. And instead of peeling off and playing passive, he's expecting a push somewhere. Someone's sneaking on in. So he goes for a wide swing and they get the opening pick. But then after that, it very quickly fell apart. Then he enter Forest, they kind of stabilized, right? And we're talking about the pony HP is starting off well for Enter Forest. Yeah, but he is feeling a lot of pressure there at top spiral. And he's been taken low. No attempt at a repick though from Exist, and here comes the Execute. An early one for Enterforce. They still have a lot of time to work with. Oh, that's an unfortunate team flash. And Akasu has decided to fall back as well. I'm not entirely sure what the plan is here for Enterforce. However, they found another pick. They're worried about flanks, but Exist finally find a pick back of their own. It's very back and forth. It's very scrappy. Enterforce just cannot dig their talons into this bomb site. As so many players are low HP, this could get mopped up very quickly by Sifty, who's hidden in the corner of this bomb site. Salty's found another one, and it's all but finished now. Take and Yamada have to go large with 10 seconds left to play, and Sifty is still in this exact factor position. He gets taken on down, and it puts it onto Salty now in a one versus two. Oh. Big spray down. They have smokes inside of Thermite, two in pocket. They have five five spangs. They can util dump the site here and try and go for a plant. And they get a pick to a 4v4 as well. Very winnable here. Long angle from Lily. With the TCSG, this is one of the best positions he could possibly be playing. There is also a flank opportunity for Salty Ooh, upstairs. I have no idea. Sylvia doesn't seem to be aware of this. I mean, no one's watching. And there's the big pick. Vanish elsewhere has found one. Sifty also from the hatch has found a pick. So it's just Yamada needing to force his diffuser down with Take to support. But I think there's information. A spray could potentially deny this plan. The plan's going to get confirmed regardless. It is all up to Take now. The shotgun comes out. 1v2 for Take. Flashes to work with, but doesn't use them. Instead swings and dies. And that means Exist will be able to solidly retake. Well done from them. They never got fully cleared on the ground floor. Thrown on it because it was rams at a piano, not looking the right way. But I loved how Exist they managed to do the flank. It was one person holding piano very passively, slowly going for a swing, while Sifty was proning on piano hatch, looking down toward the bomb. Sure, they got smoke grenades, they got flashbangs, and a single candela. But now, the plan B is likely gonna be 
They need a couple of kills now. So Tage especially, after that unfortunate team clone to Monty, he has to step up. Unless Sylvia does it first, he's been the person on defense that are finding these gaps and finding these openings. He's trying his hardest also dude here on attack because I think they're all frustrated. Guys, we had a plan, we messed it up, now we gotta figure it out. This has found another with the SMG 12 too. Salty tries to make a deal work, but it doesn't. Here comes a drop, Sifty's covering, another one for uh. Sifty! Dangerous game you're playing, Enter Force, by just dropping that hatch one by one. There's an angle covering it. They should have known about it. Now Salty can just play with his cardiac sensor. <gasps> That's just saved his life. That has just saved his life. He saw the player fucking up below him, and now they can reposition it. It's huge. Had to side play together. They're going to push the leash in here. Oh. And they do find it. Good job from Sifty to find that first pick. Now covering in the site. Vanish has the defuser, but doesn't have the time. And Salty will stab him in the back. Around from existence, surely after the start. The he's definitely struck me as a team where you look 35 seconds, solo drop, two seconds goes by, solo swing, two seconds go by, look at call comes in. Where it's like, and then solo swing here from Ash, it just felt like they were like, guys, let's go, 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 go. But they didn't really have to, they still had options, they still had utility, flashing smokes, had one Candela as well. They didn't. The SPSMG 9, there's an opportunity oh, here. Acer Roller, be careful! Oh, Bang. big kill. That's barricaded though, so this flank is not gonna strike towards piano. Maybe through bottom spiral instead. Bang! Akas just found another one here, by the way, and potentially on for a third. Is or he... not. Oh, um, I think he oh, is... he's he's moonwalking. Yeah, he's he's turning to Michael Jackson out of nowhere. But uh, E36 still have a decent chance of securing this round. Oh yeah, MJ is back, I guess, and he's decided to. Thrill us with some more kills, this time with the SMG. Desperate now is Salty, goes down to the pistol. Take finds a kill, finally. It's up to Sifty now in a 1v3. That should lock him out for at least a brief moment. He does have a C4 available. He doesn't have information on where it is. He's going to have to guess, and I think he's going to guess wrong. It looks like it. Take is low HP, and he's also being chased right now. But thankfully for E36, they fall back into safer positions, and this should be a round locked in. Absolutely should be. I mean, what do you do here? You chase the guy downstairs, you run out of time. You walk up that single staircase, you got two or three guys watching because we know that the player downstairs chasing him is upstairs now. Three versus one, two staircases, two options. They got it all locked and loaded. Bang! <laughs> Send me back! <laughs> Send me back in, coach! <laughs> a bit of a highlight reel for Akasi here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or maybe he DC'd after he died, like he left and then rejoined. Go for a backstab, but yellow ping is going to expose his location. Ow! Ooh. Massive kill there. Glorifier was popped. Final Toxic Babe. When that expires, it's going to be about 25 seconds left for execute. Sylvia finds a pick back to a 3 and 3. But he's only got 4 health left himself. Actually, he's now dead. Still so winnable, though. All it takes is one or two more picks like that. But Vanish is still on the roof. It's up to Yamato right now. He's alone in the building. Another reinforcement is going down elsewhere, apparently. <laughs> Vanish jumps back into it. This has to be a good trade, but Lily there, top fragger in the server. Steps up for another big pick. It's all up to Vanish in a 1v3 to save the game. But it doesn't look possible. Lily's soaring. Lily's got his number dialed in. Presses send on the game. And that's GG for Exist. No overtime this time around for Enterforce. And a lackluster debut with this new roster.